what I'd like to show you today is uh, the difference between a single venturi pump and a multi venturi pump. In a single venturi pump we have a brass nozzle and what the brass nozzle does is convert the compressed air into a very tight uh, bead of compressed air going very fast and that's how we create the vacuum. But as you can see the air would come through the brass nozzle down through the vacuum port and through the receiver section of the pump. Now there's one area here where we manufacture vacuum. Uh, for years and years this is the only way vacuum was made with compressed air. Until the, the advent of multi-venturis where we take the compressed air, also put it through a nozzle, and we create vacuum in a chamber. But where the multi-venturi differs is we take that air and recycle it through another venturi, another brass nozzle. And at this point, we take that where the second stage ends and we create vacuum in this area. Well, to go better than that, we put it through another stage and we create vacuum in a third chamber. So different than the single venturi where you only manufactured vacuum in one area, we do it in one, two, three areas. So what we get out of there is the efficiency of using that compressed air three times. The benefit to the customer is less compressed air and more vacuum flow. In a lot of cases, you can only get 10, 12, 15 cubic feet of vacuum flow in a single venturi because of the size restrictions. In a multi venturi, you can get 25 cubic feet of vacuum flow using the three stage technologies. If we need more than 25 cubic feet of vacuum flow, what we'll do is use the manifolds. When we need more flow than a single body will provide, 25 cubic feet or less, what we'll do is we'll marry these to a manifold. The manifold can be, uh, can accommodate, in this case, two pumps. And what we'll do is we'll bolt this pump to this manifold two times. Now we've got 50 cubic feet of vacuum flow. If we need 100 cubic feet, we'll take and put four pumps on a manifold. Two, three, four. Now what if we need 200? Then we put them on the back side. Now we've got eight pumps on a manifold and producing 200 cubic feet of vacuum flow. So you can see as the flow demands increase, we can provide a system for you.